Okay. Now we're pouring it through a sieve into a bowl. It's like cooking class. We're going to take the juice and put it on the lens of the refractometer that our scientist Julianne has just cleaned properly so that it's all ready. And then we're going to check and see how much sugar is in these babies. See how far away you are. So she puts it on the lens, flips it shut. And then, and then dun, 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 we move outside so we can see through the light. What do we got? 14. No way! Yeah, so it says. Holy cow. Well, that's going to be picked a little earlier. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be, we're going to be thinking about picking that then. Which is what I thought because these are the grapes. These are the grapes that, um, I have been showing you from the very beginning from that vineyard that we just rented and I have been picking the grapes and spitting in my hand and all that fun stuff. But again, let's pour it in the glass. We don't have a lot of color yet. Obviously Grenache is known for being a grape that has a little less color. It might be a slight bit darker than the last one, but not a whole lot. Okay, now, oh, I can't turn the camera. We're going to taste it. Mm. That smells, smells better than the last one? Like a Still similar smell, but yeah. a little more pungent. Mm. That's good. Tasty? Less, less tart. Yeah, it should have more sugar in it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I agree. Clearly. More pungent. Yeah, it's good. Sweeter. Okay, my mm -hmm. turn. Sweeter for sure. Oh, now the phone's ringing. Mmm. Okay, there you have it. That's our first maturity test.